Doyle was determined to get Loretta a record deal, whatever it took. Coming up, a distraught Loretta chooses career over family and leaves her newborn twins behind. If I'd known what was going to happen, I wouldn't have started singing. And later, the men she loved like brothers sue her for $5 million. A 20-year contract is a lifetime contract, they call it. And I signed five of them in one day. When CMT Inside Fame continues. If you don't want to go to this city. By 1962, under the watchful eye of Doyle and Teddy Wilburn, Loretta Lynn's career was gaining momentum. Now a member of the prestigious Grand Ole Opry, she was also learning her craft as the girl singer on the Wilburn's popular traveling show. The next step in Loretta's career was to land a record deal with noted producer and label head Owen Bradley at Decca Records. A determined Doyle took Bradley a tape of a new song sung by Loretta. Doyle and I took that song in, and, and Doyle said, Chief, that's Doyle's personality. I want you to hear this song. This is a hit song. And they played the tape for him. And Owen liked the song, and he wanted the song. But he didn't want the girl singer. He said, I'm not here to push a song. 